Okay, today we're going to use our online 3D designer and we will show you how to start with a template and how to modify that template. So let's choose this custom Gambrio building. Let's click on it. And this here talks about how to left click your mouse, drag around the area, like this and also how to use your scrolling wheel to scroll in and out. Okay so the first thing we'll do on this building it is a 30 by 30 14 foot sidewall Gambrel building. Let's change the size. 32 and then you click on this black background area to make the change. Now it's 32 and we will change the length to 32. Use the mouse to scroll around. The height, change that to 15. Okay, and we're done there. Scroll out. So that is done. Let's click Next. This talks about how to change your base sizes and to work with the wall and roof. Okay, so let's do this. We'll change the color from polar white to patina green. There we go. We'll leave the roof the same, but you can change it here. You can also change the trim color. Right now it's linen white. We'll leave that the same for now. And on a Canberra building, we do not need to change the overhang length here at all. We'll change this from classic rib sheeting 29 to classic rib 26. It has a wainscot in it down here. You can see it's three feet tall. If we wanted to change that, we can do this. Change it to four. We could change the color. The wainscot, let's just change it to ash gray. And we're not going to mess with the roof only bays at this time. And we'll click next. Some more information on, on how to adjust your lean tos if you have lean tos we do not on this building we will click done and we will hit next this description talks about how to add your window and door openings to the building basically you will choose the size for a window or a door Okay, so let's add a window. Let's add a window. Right here. That is 810. And we're going to put that in the center of the bay. And add another one. We'll add a second window. Right here. And the other one was. 810, so copy that. Make 810. That in the center of the bay. Now we have two windows in the building. We can do that on all sides. And next we'll go here. We're not going to have any open bays, but that talks about how you can add them if you like. We're clicking on here. Okay, we're going to leave them. We're going to leave the bays closed. Next, we're going to go here. And this talks about how you can make changes to the mezzanine. So this has a mezzanine, and it's 13.2 to the top of the mezzanine off of the slab. So we wanted to change the height. 12 to, we can do that. 
click on the black background area and it will add that change. We can also remove the mezzanine if we like. But we'll leave it in. And then after that just click on view. So now you have the building. Now we can click next. So you have a 32 by 32, 15 tall building. There are your colors and your sheeting. Next, down with the mezzanine. Here we click on props. There's no need to add props to this building. Your goal is to quickly create a building that is close to what you're looking for and then get it over to our design team so we can get you a quick quote. Next, you click get a quote. Go ahead and enter your name, street address, city, state, zip code, phone number, email, and if you have some notes like Then let us know if you have financing arranged for the building. So click yes. And let us also know if you own the land. Yes there. And then just go ahead and put in a date that you would like the building to be delivered. We'll click March 13th. And then you hit submit after you have all this filled out. Our design team will receive the file and get back to you the same day. Thanks for watching.